had never been to Thierry's uh, $15 million penthouse in Soho before. He's actually on a massage table in his apartment. I was a little nervous. I didn't really know which direction this was gonna go. And in my head, I'm thinking, what is going on right now? Like, where is this going? It's Dax McCarty with Nashville SC. I've got to tell you this one story. I was a younger guy when I got traded to the Red Bulls. Uh, I was still in my, my early 20s and I'm in New York City. This is when I started to play pretty well. And I think I had earned the respect of the veterans on the team and guys like Thierry. I think I was enjoying myself maybe a little too much off the field. And it was just taking a toll on me. It was taking a toll on me physically, but it certainly affected me in one game where I played against Sporting Kansas City. It was a quick turnaround and I didn't get the proper rest that I needed. And I played really badly in the first half and I got subbed out at halftime. And it was one of the only times in my career I'd ever been subbed out at halftime. A few days later, we're doing our regeneration session and Thierry comes up to me and says, hey, uh, I want you to come by my place later and I wanna have a chat with you. And I said, okay, no problem. And mind you, I had never been to Thierry's uh, $15 million penthouse in Soho before. And so uh, I had just moved into the city and I was a little nervous. I didn't really know which direction this was going to go. And so I go over to his place and he's actually got his own personal trainer there. And he's actually on a massage table in his apartment and he's getting a massage and we're watching a game together. It's a Champions League game on. It's on TV. And we sit there for probably about an hour, just kind of him getting a massage, us talking, just having some good banter back and forth. And in my head, I'm thinking, what is going on right now? Like, where is this going? And turns out that he uh, he wasn't too happy with the way that I played in the game Wednesday. He got real serious and he just said, listen, we all have our vices. We all have things that, uh, that we feel like we need to do to blow off some steam off the field. He's like, I've got mine. Uh, I'm sure you've got yours, but I, I think that you need to uh, settle down a little bit off the field because you're a very important member of our team and, you know, I want you to be successful and I want our team to be successful. Whoa. Like the first real heart to heart in depth conversation I had with this legend, I took those words to heart. I took it very seriously. and. I guess I shouldn't be surprised that he was getting a, a massage while we were watching Champions League taking care of himself when he was just about to lecture me and educate me on the ways to become a better pro and to take care of your body. So I think that's a little bit of uh, cosmic karma for me right there.